Uh, our duty is fulfilled. Even so, it troubles me that today's damsels were less than gracious. Only the fair-haired one by the lake managed to show us any gratitude for her chivalry. Perhaps tomorrow's damsels will be thankful. Uh, thankful uh, will have thankfulness to master beauty. Now we must ride. More adventures await. Miss adventures. Well, the spirits of the Galaka Hot Springs. A moment of seriousness now, Durakar. We have an important quest ahead of us. The treacherous dragons of Pike Distal Valley will not cease their mischief until we destroy their uh, repugnant broodmother. Before we even attempt to, uh, to complete such a task, we will still not ask the light for aid. I've seen the light manifest itself nearby in the form of spirits floating by the shores of Galaka Hot Springs. Come, I must speak with them and ask them for aid. For the Alliance. Greetings. Need help? And he has to speak with two steam furies. That's not going to work out well. As I'm going on with this, I'm hating this guy more. The other one was hilarious. The him helping the blood elf was fine. I it was neutral on that. Uh, him killing the person's parrot. Or pigeon or whatever. Squawky. He, he crossed the line. He crossed the fucking line. Where do we get to, you know, run him off a cliff? Please. Please. <laughs> Yeah, so we just gotta mosey up nearby and leave him, you know, get marauded by the uh, Steam Furies. Okay, I got a Blood Petal Sprout, which binds upon pickup, and I have no idea of the significance of. Squire, please stand next to me as I request the blessing of this light blessed spirit. Right, grant us the ability to bring on Goro's dragons to their demise. Move. I also uh, I also ask you to sprinkle wildflowers around the feet of beautiful Deloria, wherever she may walk. Uh, finally, I humbly request that you cease venting your hostility upon my good squire. <laughs> I accept your blessing. Could you put? Oh, thank God. His delusions killed the spirit. It killed the elemental. My God. <laughs> I do like that last touch. Squire, please stand next to me as I request the blessing of the slight blessed spirit. <laughs> it's hurting my face! Yes, Squire, the light tends to do that. Light, grant us the ability to bring young Goro's dragons to their minds. I also ask you to shine your glorious light upon the immaculate face of my lady Deloria, when it be her orange juice brand. Finally, I humbly request you to cease venting your hostility upon my good squire. That is hilarious. Yeah. Might I ask you a question? What act have you committed to make these spirits so angry at you? I'm impressed that you had the patience to sit so still while they were pu while they pummeled you, pummeled you so violently. Now we may proceed. The heat and scales of Goro's strongest dragon await us. Let us reconvene in my camp as friends and fellow heroes to discuss our final and most dangerous quest. Hop hop, P uh, Pimento. Uh huh. Pimento's gonna have a little accident. So in fact, there is a movie, um, and it's alleged that like uh, during like there is a special effect for a cannon blast, just some like, explosive going off. It's alleged that the, a horse got killed during it, and it actually made it into Final Cut. No idea if it's true. Uh, there's just some rumors, and that's it. Uh, I, there's no thing beyond that. Apparently, the movie did have some accidents with the human cast, like people falling, getting injured. Um, there's one scene where a guy is like clashing out with a whip and has to do it like 50 times or something. And some of the, ca the people he was lashing out as as he was like well, pretending to be asleep, then lashing out. They were getting injured apparently. These are shit I'm hearing. It's all alleged. They cover my ass. It's all alleged. It's also accurate. It's both covering my ass and accurate. This is what I'm. Well, by accurate I mean alleged. There's no. Like, that's what I mean, uh, to be accurate about what I'm saying. This is all alleged statements. I need to wear my things better to cover my ass right. Uh, and be accurate, right? Yes, these are all alleged statements. There's no... I no, haven't seen proof. I haven't seen a proper thing of it. But apparently there had been some poor record with that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. No, like there's a poor record. Uh, that movie had apparently poor record with uh, the you know health and safety, so, but and that was apparently part of it. 
Which is kind of horrible, really. That's a fucking nasty way to go. Think whatever you want of me, but they're not going to care if the bones they get to the research are from ancient Stegodons and the Amatrons, or the ones that are almost devoured us wholesale when we're trying to set up our camps. I'll just be happy if you get out of here alive. Excellent. These should do the trick. And uh, now, if you permit me, in case anyone's listening, uh, thanks for digging all of, all of these bones out of the ground for us and not hurting the native beasts in any way. Whether you really did or not, or whether you really did or didn't, I don't want to know. Let's keep it that way, shall we? Here, maybe this whole thing will keep your lips. Maybe, sorry, here, maybe this will keep your lips shut on the whole thing. Anything uh, to get out of your hero alive, I say. One of the things I hate most about digging is the fact that half the time I only find it's dirt. That's why. Uh, that's why I've been spending most of my time out here tinkering instead of digging. Let me show you what I've invented: the fossil finder tree housing. I just put the finishing touches on it. If it works properly, it should be one of the largest fossils in the area. I know, sweet, huh? Uh, let's test it out and see if you can if you can find one of the, some ridiculously big dinosaur bones. You yeah, very faint. Uh, in the case that there's a large fossil to the south of here, it's very faint, so it must be very far away. I'll deal with Maximilian momentarily. I just want to have a look at this. Actually, maybe I should have his quest in case he ends up leading me. This ends up going to a similar area. Or at the very least, I can probably ha have him help me out. To some minor, minor degree. Look! A dragon! I got a toy windmill. Ah, yes. Um, that's in reference to Don Quixote. I don't know too much about that guy, but uh, charging at windmills is the like the one thing I remember hearing connected with him. I don't remember the meaning of it. Here, let me look it up. Charging. Char. Chargy. Charging at windmills. Tilting at windmills is an English. Uh, this is according to Wikipedia. Uh, in, tilting at windmills is an English idiom that means attacking imaginary enemies. It's the expression derived from the novel, novel Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes, and the word tilt in this context is presumably the night thing. The you know, like when you search it on Bing and Google, you get a bit of a summary. Yeah, that's just what I read. So yeah, it's just fighting man, imaginary enemies. The time is uh, the time we've waited for is upon us. Durgar, a girl's broodmother will perish at her hands. The gravity of her task weighs heavily on me, but with the power of the light behind us, we're guaranteed to succeed. Are you ready to depart? I will murder you. Stomp. Um, with 101 yards, we sally forth in search of the dragon's despicable broodmother. Oh, you get some, some small rocks. Um, uh, yeah. And despicable broodmother, follow me, squire. You you should try using my stallion stomp ability. Our powerful hooves will cleave the ground itself, stunning any nearby dragons. Oh look, they've kicked up some stones we may use against mighty dragons. Oh glory, stay. Or you should start hurling them at dragons to practice your throwing arm. It does like 50 damage. Thankfully, they have no chance of actually catching us, so we don't really need to hit them. I'm just doing it to end up adding more. Cause why not? Also, he did cast like blessing of kings on himself or some bogs. We see no. Oh, I see a dragon up ahead. She's larger than I anticipated. Devil sword queen. Shit. She's a little burly for me. And Maximilian's too much of an idiot. Dragon, hear me out. I'm Maximilian of Norchar. I've come to deliver you. Uh, your blood shall fill. Great Uder's ghost, it's chasing after us. Squire, do something. Throw rocks at it. I have no plan. My god, there's a limit to his delusions. He's handed you his shield. Throw it at the devil sword. Er, dragon. <laughs> shield toss. Seems he still has his shield. Wait, I have an idea. Here, throw my light blast shield at the beast. 
That shield toss worked remarkably well. Quick, hold my, uh, hurl my holy shoulder armor. I, actually, he did lo he is losing his gear. Troll Maximilian's armor. So we're going to get Troll even more. <laughs> this is hilarity. Uh, I managed to remove my gloves. May lob them at her foe. <laughs> I am the best squire. This is a durable as fuck horse. And the queen is fucking determined. The light really doesn't like me. The ironclad heel of my armored boot should prove quite prove to be quite destructive. As good as mm, as good as a shield. It was meant to do five thousand damage there, but it did a touch less. Oh shit! Use that at the wrong time. Hit it! Eat my other sho shoulder pad, you vile fiend! A vile, a vile lizard! He whispered to me. Oh good, he's actually healing the horse. I can just spam rocks. Yes, eat rocks, you, you know, dragon. You can heft my breastplate. If you can heft my breastplate, then throw it. Throw it for Deloria. Can I skin it? The day is saved. Huzzah. Today we learned that while armor could be replaced, valor has no price. Because of your keen vo vo uh, involvement in this task, I hereby grant graduate you from squire to fledgling knight. No longer do the chains of servitude bind you to... Your health is faltering. Allow, uh, allow me to help. Yes, I think I, I'm actually pretty low on health, so hopefully you'll keep me awake. Oh, so I'll get. Ah, uh -huh, I can only do it to the other one. Because of your key involvement in this task, I shall grant you the. Uh, oh, no longer do the chains of servitude bind you to me. You're free to serve other masters. Go with honor, young hero. For the chivalry, the light, and the beautiful Lady Doria. <laughs> I actually just noticed there, he's actually completely naked now. Oh, that's hilarious. hilarious. Also, we have Toy Windmill. Oh my god, he's insane. Maximilian Shield. I think a few things have that skin. Because that looks like just like a Shield and Stormwind kind of thing. Uh, somewhere southwest of here. Okay, yeah, somewhere here. Okay, it looks like it'll probably be over here, is my guess. Maybe that's gonna be it. Let's not actually use... Actually, no, that's a corpse, not a fossil. It's beeping quietly every five seconds or so. Maybe I was right. Oh, please don't tell me it's going to lead me right up to the queen. Okay. It's, it's only a few paces away. Christ, this is like archaeology. Except a little worse, really. Like with archaeology, you get a system done up. Oh, it's... There's something right here. Oh, there we go. Weird camera angle. Uh, it is beeping and flashing wildly. Dig here. This bo uh, this bone is easily three feet. Uh, this bone is easily over three feet long. But what about the girth? I don't know. Let us continue. And I actually have most of Vangoro done now. Kind of just want to move on to Silitus. And in reality, I could actually move on to... Actually, no, I can't. I'm only 54, not 58. But in, soon enough, I'll be able to move on to... Um, Burning Crusade. How far? Uh, but I, like I've been saying all along, I want to do each part of each zone. I want to... I don't want to be losing content. Also, I do find that hilar hilarious about, you know... I humbly do request to start venting your anger at my squire. <laughs> what did you do to anger the light so? Uh, but I remark, uh, I'm impressed at your patience and whatnot. It's it, oh, that's just hilar hilarious. Oh, but still, poor Squawky. And that's the olden blessing of kings. Blessing kings now is so much different, but the old blessing kings just gives 
ten percent boost his stats. Have you found anything? Did it work? What in the end? Um, what, what an interesting femur you uh, you've brought here. But why is um, what an interesting femur you've brought here. But why is it all sharp and curvy? Wait a minute, that thing's a talon. The dinosaur with a talon that size would have been, well, really big. That's for sure. Is this the only fossil you found there? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. This bone has pickaxe marks on it. Those aren't yours, are they? No, I recognize this mark. This must be that blasted dwarf. Gah. Let me step back for a minute and explain. There's another archaeologist south of here named Doran Dyer Shovel. He may be a reckless devil may care brand of archaeology. He, he practices that reckless devil may care brand of archaeology that offends even me. Priceless fossil ruined by sloppy pick work. Uh, this is the last straw, Doran. Durakar, go and put an end to dire trouble and his negligent excavation. Reckless archaeology shall not go unpunished. They're gonna make him into a fossil. So, Maximum. Maximilian. He's deep in prayer. Slash, slap. There's also apparently you could have run into a quest here. Um, uh, in a certain point, to do a Lincoln? I swear? Maybe I'm thinking of a different zone. Maybe it's Shozar? Maybe it's the Lion Zone. That could be it. But has there been any Horde only? Well, beyond the uh, Mount Quest over here, has there been any Horde only ones? You know, this has been a pretty neutral thing, with neither Horde nor Lions having a foothold here. Really need to clean up my bags and stuff off, that kind of thing. Plenty of raptor flesh. Don't think it will sell though. Probably wouldn't. Okay, here's Doran Dire Shovel. Here's some uh, very angry raptors. Bring down the lightning. Strike. Sorry. Just trying not to choke on something. Uh, skin yet? And uh, now let's get to mine. Doran's just gone over that way. Ooh, a large opal. Which still goes for an unknown amount, but probably like a gold or so. Dire shovel. That is hilarious. I've dug my own grave. Doran's archaeological findings. Emperor Tissurian. Buo, uh, he should be dead by cataclysm. Emperor Tissurian blows my account of my most recent finding here in Ungoro Crater. After Cataclysm hit, I stopped my current project and began sweeping the crater for new potential dig sites. Curiously, the crater wasn't hit hard by the Cataclysm, but it did find what appeared to be a monstrous mandible peeking out of the ground in Terror Run. It appeared to be an ancestor of the dinosaurs that, lived here, that live here, as I spent the last several weeks digging it out, and it, and it has been my most exciting dig yet. By my calculations, this beast must have been nearly 300 feet long, uh, from tip to from tip to tail. That's larger. That's larger than some of the largest dragons, and far larger uh, than any dino cu that currently exists here in the crater. This uh, th the going's been slow mainly because I've needed to cover up my work behind me. The blasted goblin, no miner, still has cronies digging in the area, and I needn't risk any of the news of discovery leaking before I send my final results. Hold on, I need to focus. Do pop a few things. Christ, that was close. Maybe I went overboard, popping all that, but still be. Uh, the blessed goblin nil miner still has cronies digging in the area, and I uh, and I mustn't risk any of the news, any news to discovery leaking back before I send my final results back to Black Rock Mountain. This may be the key piece of information that tells us what the Titans were doing in Ongoro. Uh, regards, Doran Dire Shovel. Seems like 
seemed like he was doing some good work. <laughs> 